I think it's a momentous achievement from the museum as well as the museum team. Uh, now that the real exhibition is launched, we hope people would come and see the exhibition and learn more about sperm whale biology, uh, about what happened to this whale and what it means for uh, heritage, natural heritage in Singapore and how we better stewards of the environment. In the research front, uh, it will keep, research will still continue on the diet, exactly what did the sperm whale eat. We know that she ate over uh, 1,800 uh, cephalopods and squids, but what species, where was she hunting? Uh, these are questions that we can answer from uh, studying the stomach contents. And on education, we hope that uh, we can engage more schools to come and have hands-on experience with uh, looking at the sperm whale biology as well. So Kate, I understand that you and some of the other members of the team slept at 6 a.m. last night while getting the skeleton ready. So can you just yeah. tell us a bit more about you know, actually, yeah. the race? Our, uh, uh, the last couple of weeks have been like that actually. We've been uh, installing the whale, building the platform and the showcases, getting everything ready. So. Um, even last night we were putting in the teeth, um, putting on every single bone, all the things in the showcases and uh, if, you, if you look up at the skeleton you can see each bone is removable. So we designed it this way so that if any oil comes out in the future we can take it down and clean it. Most museums they put the whole skeleton up and then they, they can't clean it, they have to bring the whole skeleton down to clean it. So uh, we've done it this way so we can just take one off if we need to. So what are you feeling now, now that the skeleton is finally up? Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm having a, a good rest. <laughs> but yeah, very, very happy. Uh, I think it looks very impressive and no, it's a very, yeah, very big achievement like Marcus was saying for the museum as well. And uh, just pleased that we were able to salvage it and you know, thanks to everybody who helped us do it.